G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now sharing files in Microsoft Teams is what we are taking a look at today. And by the end of this video, you will know how to do that, the different ways in which you can do that, um, and also the implications of each as well. So we're gonna start by looking at the different ways in which we share files and how we do that. And then a look at a newish type of feature that allows us to quickly share files from, uh, from chats as well. All right, so let's just dive in and have a look. Now, the intention with this video is that you can uh, use this and share this uh, with your internal teams as well, uh, just to make sure that everybody's on the same page and we're doing the same thing from a file sharing perspective. So I'm logged into Microsoft Teams here as Frankie, and you can see that I'm just in a specific Microsoft team. Now, the first thing that we're gonna take a look at is OneDrive, right? So OneDrive is your app for files. We can access all of our own personal files or personal work files, plus all of our shared files as well. So if I jump into the OneDrive app in Teams and I go to my files, you can see that these are my files in my OneDrive for business, right? Now, what we can see and do here is directly from within Teams, I can click the share button and I've got the ability to share my file. Now I can copy a link now, if I hit this little link settings icon or the cog, you can see that I can change the, 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 the link settings here, all right? So people I choose, only people with existing access, people in my organization or anyone there, all right? So if I say people you choose, I can then set this more settings. I can then determine what that person is allowed to do. Can they view it? Can they review it only? Or can they make changes as well? All right, so I'm going to say can edit. Now, then I'm going to hit apply. I will then start typing in my name or the person that is going to, I wanna share this document with, and I can hit send. All right, so that person now gets notified. Now, if I flick back over to the person that I just uh, shared that with, and let's jump into Outlook and have a look, all right? So we'll log into Outlook as Daniel here, and you can see that Frankie has shared, let's just reduce the size of this. Frankie shared this document. I can then click, I can then open that document and we're good to go, all right? So again, we all know no email attachment, the file stays where it is and we're working on that one single document. Now let's say we're in a chat, all right? So I'm in a chat here, I'm in a chat with Daniel and I might want to share a file, all right? So when I'm in my chat down the bottom here, let's just get rid of this here, I'll say got it. We can hit this plus icon and we can share uh, our file through here. Now I can attach a file. Now you can see I can attach cloud files or I can upload a file from this device. Now in our chat, we've got our chat tab, but we've also got a shared tab, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a cloud file. Now, let's just say we're going to attach this statement of advice, all right? Now you can see that's in my recent, but I do have the ability to also browse my OneDrive for Business or my shared uh, libraries here. So I can go into a SharePoint site and I can go through my employee hub and I've got all of my, let's say we go into training manuals, all right? So maybe I want to share a training manual and I'll attach that to my chat. All right, so that is, let me just redo that. So I'll attach and I'll go attach a cloud file and we'll choose, we'll go back into my employee hub. We'll go to where's my training manuals and let's choose breach reporting. All right, so we'll attach that. There's that document that's been attached and I will say read this and I will send that to across to Daniel, all right? So again, if I flick across and I go into Teams, I'll go into my chat, you can see that Frankie has sent me a file. There's the file here, and I can open that file if I wanted to, to read that as well, all right? So if we jump back across to Frankie, there's two ways in which we can share our files inside of Microsoft Teams, all right? Now, what you may notice here as well is that when we do that, inside of a chat, I've got this share button, 
All right. So rather than having, if I wanted to share a file quickly with somebody else, I can hover over and I can click this file right here and I could then share that with somebody else. All right. So if I, let's say, go into this project. Now, let's have a look at our files inside of this project. I'll just let me have a look and see what we've got. All right. So let's add, I'll start a post inside of this channel inside of Teams. I want to attach a file. I want to browse my Teams or channels. And I'm going to select this change management plan and I'll attach this. Please all read this. Okay. And I'll post that. Now, everybody in that team has got access to this. Okay. Now, if I want to share this with somebody else, I can hit the share button. All right. Now, I've got my three little dots up, up here and I can share outside of Teams if I wanted to. All right. And you can see that I can then start typing in somebody's name. It might be Daniel, who's outside of that team. And I can hit send. I can change my link settings here. Okay, like we did before. And this is one of the great things about the sharing uh, experience is that it is ubiquitous and uh, across different way, uh, different endpoints as well. So I can hit share. I can enter a name, email, group, or tag. So if I enter Daniel and I enter, um, let me just pick the other Daniel. So if I go Daniel, uh, no, he's the right one. Now I can hit share. All right, so when I share that, let's just jump over to Daniel's environment here. And again, I've got this change management plan here that Frankie has shared. It's been shared in that the chat. Now let's go and open this file. All right, so let me click and open. There's the file and I've got access to it. So let's have a look at this Copilot help desk. Let's have a look at the files inside of here and we might do the same thing, all right? So I'm going to start a post. I'm going to attach a file in the chat of this channel, all right? So I'll browse Teams and Channels. I will say this Power App, all right? So New Prospect Power App, and I'll just post that and I'll share that in this channel, all right? Now I'm logged in as Daniel, I'm gonna hit Share. Now this time, I'm going to share this with Frankie, all right? Now Frankie is not, a member of this team. So I'm gonna hit share. Let's just double check and make sure that Frankie is not a member of this team. So if I go to manage teams, we'll go members, we'll go two people and we're good. So if I flip back to Frankie now, you can see that I've got a chat with Daniel. Here's the file and here's the uh, new prospect power app document. So let me click to open that that automatically by sharing that document in that chat gives access to Frankie to that particular document. Now you'll notice that we can't edit. That's because of the settings that we set in the sharing. So the way that I shared that, I set that it was, it was view only, all right? So that's why Frankie can't then edit this document. He can only read this document, okay? So if I flick back here, and what we might do is let's just have a look and we're going to open up this Copilot help desk in SharePoint. All right, so let's just open this up in SharePoint and open SharePoint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this URL. I'm going to pop back over to Frankie. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and get into this document library. So you can see that Frankie doesn't have access to this entire document library, but Frankie does have access to that document that actually lives inside this document library. So by share, by doing that sharing via that quick share, it's actually set the permissions and we can check that. So if we go here and let's have a look at this file and we'll select manage access. Now you can see that we've got people, one Frankie can view, all right? That was because I shared that document. Let's do that again, all right? So if I go to this generic contractor document, let's just have a look at manage access. You can see it's not shared with anybody here. But let's go into our posts and I'm going to just start a new post 
And we could do it from the document directly, obviously, but this feature here that allows us to do it directly from a chat, I'll do this contract and we'll attach that and we'll just post that. So rather than having to go into files and then SharePoint and share, what I can do is I can just say, right, Frankie, let's give him access to here. Now we could share outside of Teams if we wanted to and change the access, all right? We could copy the link, so I can copy this link and then what that allows us to do again is change the settings, right? Only people with existing access, people you choose, and we could do it that way as well. All right, so let's just jump out of that. I'll hit share and I'll just do Frankie in here. All right, so let's go with Frankie. We'll find him and we'll hit share. All right, so that's now shared that document with Frankie. I'll flick back over, I'll go to the chat, I've sent a file, there's the contract, there's the document. I can then open that document, click, open, but yet I still do not have access to uh, the entire library. Now last but not least is we can also share from the shared tab in a one-to-one uh, -one chat or a group chat. Okay, so you can see here that I'm in this chat with, uh, I'm logged in as Frankie here in this browser. I've got my chat, here's my chat with Daniel. Now these one-to-ones can obviously get uh, really long and lots of files are shared. So this shared tab here gives us a way where we can go into that one-to-one -one chat and have a look at the files that Daniel and I have uh, shared with each other. So we can see here that I've got, here's my files. Now I've got a couple of options here. So when I hover, I can actually go to the chat. All right, so I can go to the chat and it takes me directly to that file, right? Which is good if there's context around the conversations around that file. But I can also share this, right? Same experience, it's a quick share. I can then share that with somebody else as well, all right? Exactly the same experience as we saw in the, uh, in the chat experience when we're in the chat and we're sharing a file. We can do the same thing out of that shared tab as well, all right? So there we have it, Microsoft Teams, file sharing. I uh, hope that brings you some value. Again, make use of this, share it amongst your colleagues, uh, make sure that everybody understands and is doing the same thing across your organization. Really important when we're looking at file management so that we're not having multiple versions and things like that flying around in inboxes. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.